Okay, I'm here at the 2023 New York Auto Show with Matt Teske, founder and CEO of Chargeway. I've known Matt for quite a number of years now. He's been involved in the EV industry for a long time, and I know all about Chargeway, but I'm gonna ask him this question. Matt, what's Chargeway? <laughs> uh, yeah, Chargeway is EV charging simplified. Okay. So the idea really was born out of my own experience. So I've been driving EVs for 10 years. Uh, my wife and I took our first EV on a road trip. I made a phone call and asked if they had chargers. They said yes. We arrived, and when we asked where they were, uh, we were told, hey, the maintenance guy is gonna help you out. I said, why? Some guy with a tool belt walked out and took us to a wooden shed and flipped open a little electrical outlet and said, there's your charging station. I said, no, this is not needed. So this is, this is like a decade ago now. Yeah. And what happened with that is my wife, uh, that night at dinner, just very politely said, she's like, you're a car guy, right? Because I've spent over 20 years in the auto industry. That's my background, yeah. is automotive marketing, communications, and branding. And, and I said, yeah, I am, I thought. And she said, well, if you couldn't do this, how would I do this? How would everyone else do this? And I thought, is it just that hard? You just have to find out where it is? But there was so many details to plug type and power level and all the things we all have to learn in EV charging that I thought, is this easy enough yet? And at the time, no. And, and as it's grown, it's gotten more complicated. This video, as well as all of the videos here on State of Charge, is sponsored by QMerit. Once I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charger you're going to buy, then follow the link in the description of my videos and have QMerit install it. A absolutely has it. As my followers know, it's one of the things I try to do on State of Charge is explain charging. It's not just, hey, you know, let's make videos and make money. I'm, I really, you know, wholeheartedly are trying to help people that are new to EVs understand charging as you are. Yeah. So, okay, that's how it started and that's what it is. What's this? Okay, yeah, so, well, this was born out of that experience. So Chargeway, we developed out a software platform that was designed for drivers. It was really to say, we want this to be for you. So instead of just showing you a map where charging stations are with just lightning bolt pins, we said, how do we help each driver know how it works for them? And so the goal of Chargeway was to say, think about it from the automotive lens and which car do you drive? So we said, once you choose your vehicle, we're gonna show you what your charging landscape is. And instead of trying to help you understand the engineering terminologies and kilowatts and amps and volts, we said, how do we help people know what they need to know, which is where do I plug in and how long do I have to wait? And so we said, okay, well, use, let's use something simple. Colors for plug type. And so you'll see here this vehicle selected has a green plug and then all the green stations match it. And then the number is power level. That's how much power the car can accept. And the numbers on the map show you how much power is offered at that station. Right, so does your app explain what six means. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because so. that, that, that's a number that, well, my car's a six. Yep. How do I, how, you know, how do I, how do I know that? But it explains that in the app, yeah. Yeah, so we actually have a charge time estimator built into the app. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to help people understand if you are almost empty mm -hmm. and you're gonna be down here at like a level one, then all of a sudden you say, oh my gosh, it's gonna take days to fill up this car yeah. to 100%. And you can choose to say, I wanna to go to maybe 80, but that's still days. Yeah. You upgrade to a level two charger at home, that's your overnight charge. Right. And that's what we really wanna help you understand is mm -hmm. what does that difference look like, but then how does fast charging work? We mm -hmm. often hear it's just level three charging is fast. Yeah. But we know that there's a lot of variance within fast charging. Absolutely. And so we said, how do we help people navigate that variance? And we said, all right, well then let's just break it up with different power levels. So it switched to DC fast, and at level three, you'll notice it's a four hour charge. And then you go up in power level, you'll notice that charge time goes down in your estimate. And that's what we wanted to help people navigate. And once you've reached your vehicle's max, it tells you, so you know how to navigate those power levels on the map. Right, so I would assume since they, this is an Audi is limited to a certain amount of power it can take in, it won't matter if you go up to a, a, a green seven because right. six is the highest power this can take, but you don't have to know that as a customer. Right. If you went up to a, a charging station that was a green seven, it would tell you 41 minutes. If you went to a green six, it would tell you 41 minutes. You don't have to think about is this, can my vehicle accept this power or how much it, it, it does all the work for you? Yeah, I mean, if we go to a seven, you'll notice the power level changed, but the time didn't. So it's really that's the education of helping people yeah. understand how it works. And again, for those asking, it's based on the engineering. Yeah. So we do all the kilowatt thinking and math in the background, but we basically just, we remove that from the first impression to help new people that are coming to EVs understand this in a way that's more approachable. Right, so let me let me throw a question at you that we didn't discuss, and we, we, we didn't pre-plan this. I just met Matt here at the Auto Show and said, let's talk about this. Yeah. So I don't know if you have a solution to this, and I know Chargeway, but I haven't really done a, a deep dive into it. Yeah. Um, is there any way that Chargeway will help you with different, like um, like in the winter, 
the car charges slower. Does it explain that at all? Yeah. Or is this just the, the optimal charging speed? Well, that's one thing we're looking at, right? So if you're looking at optimal charging speed, that's number one. Next mm -hmm. step is if you want to plan a trip and if you're on that trip, what happens to uh -huh. your charging? So one of the things we already have built in the system is you'll notice here, this is our trip planner. This gives you that EPA rated range, yeah. but then if you set temperature and speed, if it's a cold day and you're driving 70 miles an hour, number one is your range is already gonna go down. We want you to yeah. know that. But on top of that is, what does that wait time look like at charging? Mm -hmm. So our algorithm builds into the trip planner a little bit of a buffer based on what you're looking at for temperature and speed. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's a moving target, yeah. but we want people to know, and we're building in more details around this based on more data we get from drivers, yeah. is with that temperature being lower on a, on a trip plan setting, we can get an, esti an estimate more on, okay, how long did they wait? So we can build up that time buffer a little bit more so they have more transparency around how that road trip's gonna work in the winter compared to summer. That's great, and I didn't know you had this. I thought I was throwing him a question that he wasn't gonna be able to answer. And <laughs> we have so, some of so, it, not all so, of it. Yeah, no, this is fantastic here, and I'm sure you're still probably refining that because yeah. it's this is such a bear to get your hands around. Yeah. With with different vehicles react differently yeah. in the cold. Some some EVs have preconditioning, some yeah. don't. So the, and then you have to deal with the whole fact that the charging station may not be delivering the power that it's supposed to. Right. That you can't, there's no way you could account for that. Yeah. You know, that, I mean, that's out of your hands. And, and hopefully in the app, it maybe has some explanation like that about EV charging or whatever. We're trying but, to use visuals around yeah. that. So for example, if it's a winter setting and we know that charge time's gonna be extended, yeah. it little basic visuals like a snowflake next yeah. to the charge time and yeah. then having it be expanded. So we're working on those details now. Yeah. One of the other most important things is if your vehicle is a 400 volt vehicle or an 800 plus volt vehicle. Yeah. And so we already have it built into the system that if you're looking at a station with, let's say, the Audi e-tron, and it is 125 kW, but it's a 200 amp coupler yep. or 400 volt architecture, yeah. we're not going to show you that it's a level six, which would be, it, that's what it would be in Chargeway. Yes. We're going to show you a level five. You know that. We like, know you that. Know, by and the we station, will, yeah. Yeah, we'll show that to the driver. There's local EV go stations by me that advertise 200 kilowatts, yeah. but that's with an 800 volt system, or really a thousand volt system. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I pull up in my, uh, lightning and I'm pulling 77, 78 yeah. kilowatt. Yeah. You know, like I could imagine the average person saying, why isn't this? But this will accurately tell me what to expect or what the level is. But yeah, this, that's the hardest part, right? Is, yeah. is helping to translate the levels and all the math in the background. Yeah. And so because of the, that moving target, we said, okay, what do we know we can confidently point to for a driver? Yeah. If we know the architecture of the battery pack and we know what's happening with the station's hardware, we can at least give them some more transparency into what to expect. Yeah. So a driver that knows they, they're pulling up to a station might say, oh, that's a green five for me. Yeah. But if you're driving a Lucid Air, and that's a 900 volt architecture yeah. car. Oh, hey, that's a that's green, green six. Yeah. yeah, so that's perfect for me. So, so that's what we want to help people navigate without having to inundate them with becoming an engineer. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, so th this thing's really cool, but where would I see this? I noticed there's not one in the state of charge garage in New Jersey. You know, maybe if you have, <laughs> do you sell these scratch and dent? Maybe I can get one at a discount <laughs> exactly. and, and have it in the Just background bumps, of, my, yeah. uh, of, of the state of charge. But, but so, I mean, this is great. It's at the auto show. Play with it, learn about EVs, but how do people access these? Where do they see them? So number Number one is that these are in dealerships predominantly throughout the United States. Okay. And so most of the partners we work with currently are electric utilities. Mm -hmm. And so we're here today at the New York Auto Show with the New York Power Authority because they are, they create the power, they create the new fuel. Yeah. So they're, they're already putting a lot of infrastructure in and they're also finding that they have to figure out a better way to translate the value of what they're doing for the public. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we looked at obviously with, with them is they said, well, we want to know that we can not just talk about where all charging is, we want to be able to say, here's what we've done with Evolve New York. Mm -hmm. So as an example, there's this little quick link here, if you tap this, it's going to load and only show the Evolve New York yeah. fast charging stations. Yeah. And this is a way for them to identify the efforts they've made in New York, but then if someone says, wait, that's the only charging in New York? Yeah. No, you no. turn that back off, yeah. it'll show you everything. everything. Yeah. yeah. But, so, yeah. It's probably take a while to load. But go back to that for a second, just to give Evolve New York and the New York Power Authority a plug. Look at this network that the New York Power Authority has built out with Evolve New York. Yeah. I think it's the largest state-run network in the country, right? That, that, that's that's a, one of the biggest, yeah, without I mean, a doubt. I mean, yeah. it, it's, New York State has done a fantastic job, the New York Power Authority has done a fantastic job building out networks. They said, we're not gonna wait for EVgo, Electrify America, ChargePoint, all these networks. We're gonna do it ourselves. Yeah. And uh, I've used this network, driving up to uh, Thousand Islands, going up to Vermont. It works, and uh, I, I thank Evolve New York for putting this out. No, it's it's a really good, it's a testament to, I think, what, what can happen when, when a utility and a power authority is looking at it from the perspective of how do we help drivers of every walk of life? 
And I think this is a great example. And one of the details we then look at for not only showing where fast charging is, is this is a detail we have built into just the beacon, mm -hmm. which we call this kiosk, is what are incentives for a particular vehicle? Mm -hmm. But most importantly, the question happens all the time, I'm sure you've heard it when you're talking on your show, is how much is my electric bill going to go up? Yep. And so we have just a basic feature here that shows if you're filling up at home in this zip code, okay. what is your cost of electricity on your bill going to be compared to local gasoline? And it's based on this car. On this car. So if, yeah. if a car is more efficient than another car, you might save more money. Yeah. And so the last piece is what home charging is available. Yeah. We can work with our utility partners, mm -hmm. dealer partners to show specific home chargers or maybe a catalog of home chargers. Yeah. This is a great way to help people just understand how the, that navigation of buying that product can look. Yeah. Uh, now you're, you're infringing a little on my territory. I'll just go here, back so. to incentives. Yeah, we, we, we could push that down for a second. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. Listen, th th there's plenty of room for everybody to play in this space, Matt, and uh, you, you're doing a fantastic job helping educate the public. So now, if someone wants to get the Chargeway app, what do they do? Download it? Or, yeah. uh, you know, just, it's available on uh, on Android and iOS, right? Yeah, it's really simple. I mean, the way that we've looked at it was, if we can offer this system inside of a showroom, someone can download that to their phone and have a consistent experience. So, mm -hmm. Android, iOS, you can download the Chargeway mobile app for free. And then from there, you just simply add your EV, or if you have multiple EVs, you can add multiple, and then you just simply, on the map, you can swipe to a different EV that you might have added. And again, we show every single brand of EV on the market. Yep. So it doesn't matter what you're looking at, Lincoln, Jeep, Kia, once you switch to what the vehicle is that you want, we can go back to the charging map and then just as if you would add it on your phone, okay. it works the exact same way. Excellent. All right, listen, thanks a lot for yeah. the time, Matt. I yeah. appreciate it's always a good time uh, chatting with you. I've been talking to Matt for years now yeah. with uh, electric vehicles. As I say, he was one of the uh, early adopters who recognized there was a problem and said, I'm not just going to go on Twitter and complain about it. I'm going to fix it. That, that <laughs> so, is exactly and, and, it. And you're, you're going a long way in doing this. Thank um, you. Chargeway's doing some great things, and uh, thanks for coming on uh, State of Charge. Appreciate it. I want to thank Matt again for coming on and doing that impromptu interview. As I said in the video, I just happened to be walking by him at the New York Auto Show and said, hey, you want to come on State of Charge and tell us what you're doing over here at Chargeway? And he happily agreed. And quite honestly, I do use the Chargeway app and I recommend it for others. The three apps that I recommend most are Chargeway, plug share and a better route planner. So if you're an electric vehicle owner, I'd download all three of those apps and take a look at them. You can then decide which one works best for you, but at least check them all out. And I really do like what Matt's doing over there at Chargeway. He is trying to help educate the people and provide a service making charging easier for people to understand. And as we make this transition to electric vehicles, a lot of help is going to be required in helping the general public better understand charging. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, don't forget, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>